Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your April general reading for 2018. Um, I hope that everyone is, has had a really good start to spring and then their spring cleaning and all of that. I'm just, just really preparing to have a really good spring and summer season, alright? So, I do shuffle the cards off camera. But we'll shuffle and we'll pray. Well, no, we'll shuffle. And then we'll get started. We'll start with love. Okay, that wants to flip out. What's going on for Virgo in love? Thank you to all the people who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Um... Okay. There's a lot of indecision with you right now. There's some inner conflict. You may be holding back, holding on to exactly how you feel, holding on to some plans that you've made, holding on to secrets. You know, um, just if not, um, you know, if not uh, telling lies, you're just telling half truths here. So, uh, yeah, that's the basis here. Right, and then the Ace of Swords. Some truth will come out, whether this truth comes from you or someone else. You could be dealing with a Pisces, fire sign, or an air sign. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Some truth comes out and it, it makes everyone think differently. Some people are holding back. You're holding back. Maybe someone you're dealing with, friend, family, romantic partner, uh, anyone you have love for. Presently is the death card, transformation, uh, endings and new beginnings. Uh, with an ending becomes a new, sometimes become, with an ending comes a, a new beginning in which maybe you have the opportunity to show yourself different, show yourself transformed in a, in a sense here. The recent past was the Knight of Cups. Someone extending themselves emotionally, wanting to invest emotionally. This could be you or someone you're dealing with. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We've got Scorpio, Pisces. Definitely some water sign or someone with water in their chart. All right, near future, near future. The Page of Pentacles, nice. So, um, messages of stability, messages of someone wanting to start, create a foundation. This could be you, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or um, this could be uh, someone around you. Or are you just starting something new? And it's and it's in its infancy. It's not, you know, completely built up. All right? I gotta... Oh wow. So in your power is the three of swords and the four of wands. Might be some Divorce, separation, infidelity, caution in relationship. Here's our relationship card, our stable relationship, but it looks like there's some instability here. Some of you could be dealing with a air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Uh, there might have been or there is separation, divorce. There's someone needing to practice caution in their relationship. Uh, there has been infidelity, could be. All right, third party situation, of course. External to use the Seven of Cups. This could be someone with a lot of options. Um, someone who offers broken promises. Some, the, the, the unfaithful spouse, whether you're married or not married. The unfaithful partner or someone just um, creating illusions. Someone who creates emotional um, emotional instability external to you. In your, excuse me, 
uh, hopes and fears, eight of pentacles. So, of course, this will be a hope for some of you will want to put the work in. You want to continue working on a situation that involves love with the eight of pentacles here. And that's your energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. What's the outcome here? Uh, but there might be some emotional manipulation, maybe from a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We've got all signs here. Um, distinctly, we have Pisces, Scorpio. The outcome is the Six of Cups. So someone is, is lost in thought here, lost in emotions. Um, thinking of the good times. Thinking of the children, if you if you uh, share children in a relationship, only having the nostalgic thoughts, the, the good thoughts of uh, of said relationship. I'm gonna pull one card for the Six of Cups. What's the Six of Cups? All right, and it fell out. The Empress, right? Um, maternal instincts here. Someone could be a mother. Someone could be becoming a mother. You could just be putting your energy into your children right now. For my Virgo women, um, that's the outcome. Some of you could find out that you're pregnant. Ten of Pentacles on the Empress. Um, Six of Cups, Empress, Ten of Pentacles. Some of you want some, someone from your past, someone from your past, maybe coming back. It is Mercury Retrograde, I believe. Um, you, you, But this is... Typically, when I see the Empress, this is Virgo, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Leo, sometimes. Um, someone, some of you could be wanting someone from your past who you deem is very attractive, beautiful. Someone who is uh, can create, is uh, creative. You know, she rules her own terrain here. And you, you find her or him very stable. All right. Um, the bottom of the deck, the page of wands. So there might be a message that comes in that requires action. You know, it's that conditional message that comes in. If it's from, you know, a direct person, it's, it's highly conditional. You know, it's if you do this, I'll do that. If you, you know, um, it's a message of action. It's not a message that... Just allows you to stand still in that. So some of you are going through um, ending the situation. Could, I've seen all signs here. Some of you have already ended a situation. Let's do one more love spread and then we'll move to career and finance. Thank you for the messages, the love messages for Virgo. Some of you ending things. Thinking of someone from the past. Alright. One more. Alright. Okay. Messages for Virgo. Messages for Virgo. Love messages for Virgo. True, accurate love messages for Virgo. Messages to govern and guide their love lives. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. This one to fall out. Nice. Uh, Six of Wands, King of Pentacles. Maybe some victory here. Some um, so self promotion. I just heard somebody likes a lot of attention. Um, could be a fire sign. Knight of Cups for the basis for all of this. Nine of Pentacles in the present. Three of Wands. In the recent past. Okay. The devil hangman here in the near future. Your energy. Page of Pentacles. Three of Swords external to you. King of Swords. Hopes and Fears. High Priestess outcome. Bottom of the deck, the tower. All right, so for some of you, it looks like third-party situation. It looks like someone wants out of a certain situation. Someone has gotten out of a, a situation. Um, someone was like the King of Swords, made a final and decisive um, 
judgment on a certain relationship external to you is the three of swords someone having another party um infidelity someone just needing to practice caution we've also got in the near future the devil and the hangman i think you know about another party virgo or you could have the other party your energy is the page of pentacles you started something new or you want to start something new elsewhere looks like in the present you know either you or someone else you're dealing with takes on the energy of single or at least the energy of just really worrying about themselves, caring about themselves, putting energy, love, time, effort into themselves. I can see that here with the Six of Wands and the King of Pentacles. This could be you, another, or another earth sign you're dealing with. Um, you're just really worried about self or, or vice versa. Your partner is someone's holding on to secrets and lies and the outcome or secrets or just not, they're not showing up there their uh hand here we got the tower here the ace of cups temperance some of you could be dealing with the sagittarius there's an unexpected event that comes in surrounding the relationship um it could be a resurgence in love that brings back balance um healing restoration or at least just balance um Some of you dealing with the air sign or another another Capricorn Virgo Taurus. We've got fire here. All right. I don't know, Virgo. It kind of looks the same as the other spread. Some somebody wants out. Someone's moving on. Either you or. Uh, you, the party you came to the reading for. Somebody's moving on. All right, let's pull some cards for career and finance. What are the career and finance messages for Virgo? Career and finance messages for Virgo. True, accurate messages for Virgo. Career and finance for Virgo. Career and finance for Virgo. Three of hearts. Three of club. Career and finance for Virgo. Seven of spade. For the basis. Four of club in the present. Jack of Spade in the recent past. Eight of Cups. Okay, and we're back. All right, Eight of Hearts in the near future. Three of, of Spades. And your power, Ten of Pentacles, external to you. Got some of the same cards. Some of you are definitely in a third party situation. I, mean, I can only relate this to love. Hopes and fears is the Queen of Hearts. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or just you're just hoping to find something that you enjoy, you love on an emotional level. The outcome, Ten of Spades. Seven of Clubs, the bottom of the deck. Could be dealing with a fire sign. Psychic abilities are heightened against or in, in regards to the opposite sex. So, you know, you know what's going on here. Um, trying to relate this to love. It looks like, uh, I mean, trying to relate it to money. It looks like a love spread. Yeah, reunion here. Someone wanted to put past an established situation and just look out into the horizons, maybe because there's another something or someone that 
you are trying to get to or what or what not. The seven of spades. The basis for all the energy is someone being sneaky, trying to devise a plan of action. Eight of cups, someone checking out emotionally here. Ten of spades and the outcome, the ultimate level, highest level of betrayal. Someone just completely done mentally. Trying to relate this to career and finance. Three of spades, once again, or three hearts, or yeah, three of swords. Divorce, caution, in relationships, separation. This is in your power. So some of you are leaving or have left. Presently, we got the four of uh, clubs. This could be the relationship, but this is also an unexpected bad event that comes in and shifts the energy. Some of you are dealing with an air sign, maybe an immature air sign that sometimes is well-meaning, but highly immature. I'll try to pull some more cards to see if we can get something for career and finance, career and finance for Virgo, career and finance for Virgo, career and finance for Virgo, career and finance. Same cards, my gosh. Some of you could be trying to devise a plan to move away from a, um, a career path or um, a company, maybe getting a new job, or you, you're really trying to put that plan in action to have stability elsewhere. Um, it, this involves you leaving an established relationship with within your career, devising a plan to do so because you want to, you know that stability is elsewhere or this greatly impacts your stability. You're going to have separation from an already um, established either career or um, job situation. Okay. All right, let's get some cards of advice for Virgo. Cards of advice for Virgo. If it wants to come back out, it will. these back in most of them fell out um, facing up I like to take the cards when they're facing down yeah there we are all right forgiveness some of you might need to either ask for forgiveness or you need to um, forgive someone else um, but it's coming up for you it's a big deal we did see the three of swords in all the spreads, um, there might have been, you know, infidelity. Adult children, some of you have adult children, or of course you may be an adult child. Um, if you have an adult children, it's coming up because you need to be concerned about or concerned with your adult children or child. Uh, this could be preteen, teenager also. Um, you might need to show a little bit more care that way, concern. Adult children, you could, like I said, you could, you might need to even check in on your parents. Um, so it can be vice versa. Support, support is here. I did, I did um, pick that up for you. So some of you are making decisions to walk away from uh, established career paths or or a job situations or you're walk, or walking away or have walked away from relationships support is here via of course other organizations um, outside of yourself friends family members but support is here um, at the bottom of the deck heavenly signs um, we had that seven of clubs in the playing cards deck that talks about psychic abilities being heightened heavenly signs that can come via music uh, items talking to someone and they just say something that really clicks to you heavenly signs are letting you know that of course heaven supports you you need to probably um, offer 
forgiveness or ask for forgiveness either or adult children is um this could be your children forgiving you or or vice versa you forgiving your children also support is here heavenly signs so if this message resonated with you please like share comment subscribe to the channel uh it's much appreciated know that i'm praying for you virgo so pray for me as well and when in doubt pray all right i'll see you guys in mid-april okay take care